Hello YouTube, it's Delta0125 here again. And uh, I kind of had to track down this package over at the uh, UPS office at the airport across town. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of a little unboxing from e-bike. And I apologize for the mess, but of course we're in the apartment. I don't have my house right now because it burnt a while back. And of course it comes with the same crap that came with my uh, other order. And I'll be loading shortly. Get rid of the box. Find a piece of cardboard. This is the standard Evite calendar with the 10% off and 50% off codes. 10% off for any order amount. And then 50% off shipping and handling. Of course, why use that when uh, oh yeah, it comes with this Mad Bull Rails advertisement. I guess they really want to get rid of the Mad Bull rails that they have right now, which nobody seems to want. But uh, why use those coupon codes when they got a 17% off code? Get until the 31st of October. Awesome Evike is the coupon code. And 17% uh, off your purchase of $1 more for online and store order. Uh, order. Coupon valid 915 through 1031 2011. And again, awesome evike is the coupon code right there in the red. So, <clears throat> without further ado, you probably already saw the box as I pulled it out. One Cybergun licensed Desert Eagle CO2 gas blowback airsoft pistol. So the box, really nice looking, 394 feet per second. I really doubt that. Because it says 305 down here with .20s, so they're probably chroning with .12s. But uh, I heard this thing actually shoots about 350 with a fresh cartridge, so we'll see how it does. But I can't test fire it right now because, again, I'm in my apartment. I'll have to go over to my friend Tim's and test fire it or something. So a little thing explaining how it works. Of course, if you're familiar with the Desert Eagle, you already know how. A little ad for Paco Sports. And I believe this is a, yes, a warranty registration card. Now, they patched it with uh, some better styrofoam than you would get with most of their guns. This piece of styrofoam does not want to come off my hand. <sighs> I'll screw it into the trash with you. This I kind of found was funny. They included a little box of BBs that's uh, sort of like the Tokyo Marui .29 gram or .28 gram sniper BBs. But these are point two O's. I might actually keep these because, uh, well, just plain and simple, just for the box, for the hell of it. Because I've never really seen one actually packaged like this. These BBs I haven't even looked at, so, but I don't need these because I got a box, or a um, package of Crossman BBs, a uh, tub, if you will. Then you get this little Allen wrench. Get a speed loader with a uh, adapter for the magazine, then the gun itself. And I apologize because I don't have the Windows 7 Movie Maker. It has my computer burnt in the fire, and we have a donated one that's running XP right now. Apparently, the magazine does use an Allen wrench type. So let me get this box out of the way real quick. I'll stuff on the rest of this stuff over it. So, we got trades right here. It says Desert Eagle 50 AE Pistol, Israel, Israel Military Industries Limited, IMI. And you got the IMI logo on it. You've got Magnum Research uh, Incorporated, Minneapolis, Minnesota, made in Taiwan on the side. And you got an Energy Jewel sticker, which I'll probably just remove. Something I found that was funny when I was messing around with this uh, on the way back, because I, you know me, I can't wait, I don't have any patience, but something I found that was funny was it's got a safe, and then it's got one fire mode and two fire modes. And they're pretty stiff to try and change them, but one and two. It kind of likes to click up into the first one, but, uh, Oh, the magazine's pulling out, but there are two fire modes right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a notch there and there. 
and there's one in the middle but it likes to like I said go up into the first one but I'm thinking that's because of their full auto series they probably just took the uh, upper slides that they had left over and incorporated them into their semi auto but they removed the uh, markings for the full auto now the magazine this is the new version mind you the magazine's metal so no real worries about harming that doesn't feel like a cheap metal either, but you might never know. It feels more like it's a CNC'd, uh, CNC'd aluminum. Magazine's supposed to hold about 20 rounds. And, let's see if I can, just for a second, just. The magazine doesn't really lock back, as you can see, unless the magazine is Insert. Did I say the magazine locks back? Sorry, slide locks back when the magazine is inserted. So, kind of realistic. Not by much. And my hands aren't that small, by the way. If you uh, need a reference, here's a uh, soda can of how large this thing is. So, pretty long too. And I bought this as a backup for when I go down to Portland, Oregon to play around. And you can cock this single action, or when it's got CO2 in there, it's double action, apparently. But again, you need to rack the slide back when you go to fire it. Something else to note is the uh, hammer is actually stiff like the real thing. Yeah, I know, that's what she said. Anyways, uh, so, kind of found that was kind of awesome. But, uh, yeah, so, ordered this as a backup, like I said. That and the fact the uh, sheer size of it and the, uh, I'm not sure about the um, sound of it yet, but I'm expecting it'll scare the newer players into backing off if uh, you're trying to snipe or something like that. Kind of doubt it, but we'll see what happens when I'm down there. And uh, I guess I'll have to keep that orange tip on there since it's not too obnoxious. And uh, I'll be bringing it to Portland, Oregon with me. Something else to note is uh, the so-called scope rail up here, which I found kind of funny because uh, it's actually for scopes. You can't really put any flashlights on there unless it's a uh, quick detach version. But, uh, yeah, it's made for, like, little quick aim scopes. There's an eagle sight. But, uh, yeah, so this is the, uh, little short review of the Cybergun licensed Desert Eagle. Thanks for watching.